we are here right now at Pacific Coast. That is nice. Highway one. Wow. Even though like it's not like uh, the same Philippines, like uh, really green, but look at that. Roads is very nice. So it is James. James is there. Where's James is coming? Oh my gosh. He was such as easy to climb it here, but it's not. It wasn't so exhausted already and I'm not even reached the top yet. Holy but it is such a great experience. I love it. I really love it. I have fun so much. It's our first morning in Cali. Yes, good morning. <laughs> it's a cool morning in California, but we're not used to that because we've been in hot, hot Philippines and uh, man, we're not used to it being cool like this. We was actually expecting to come back to more heat because we've been keeping up with the weather in Texas, which has already been super hot, hotter than in the Philippines. So but, we're just going to enjoy the the nice weather here while we're still here. <laughs> yeah, but we thought we were going to sunny California. And I guess we brought a cloud with us because uh, all we've seen so far is cloudy yesterday and really cloudy today. But uh, we stayed in a Hilton here last night and we're heading on up further up north today. Going to continue to drive this uh, coastal road going up, Highway 1. Well, let's get this day start. And I'm really liking this journey too because I'm driving a Toyota 4Runner four before and you know that's my bag right there anyway well I, I like I like the Toyotas I like the four runners and I'm definitely a four before person We're down here at Ventura Harbor it's so nice to roll in see all the boats what i like it very much see a nice big catamaran over there on the other side yeah it's a nice catamaran there's another catamaran so so nice Nice little morning drive. 
we just got off any of the main roads or highways. We're just dipping all along these little coastal roads in and out everywhere. I told Melinda, I don't want to just blow by everything, you know, like we're in a hurry to get to an airport or to a city. We're just cruising and get off in these little nooks and crannies and see what we can see. It's pretty cool. I'm really enjoying it. Mel and I, we were talking also, you don't see all the big trucks like in Texas. You see some, but not on the scale that you do in Texas of the big old uh, full-size trucks and 4 by 4s and big old diesels just rolling everywhere. We just have not seen that many of them, have we? It's mostly cars and small SUVs and a, some yes. half-ton pickups. Every once in a while, I see a three-quarter yeah, or one-ton. It's all big. Everybody driving yeah, around, the SUV. yeah, driving around with a big old one ton just to run to the grocery store. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a different world. It really makes you realize how different Texas is and some other states there um, in that part of the country that pickups and trucks is king and driving those big old huge trucks, mm -hmm. even for a small task. Um, and you get over here and you don't see near that scale of it i tell you what we do see a lot of and that is teslas my gosh there's yes. a lot of teslas it's like, yeah. Ooh, tesla has sold a lot of vehicles here and it'll be funny because you'll see teslas a lot of uh, lots of priuses which are hybrids lots of the uh, honda models that are hybrids um a lot of that that's very common here well, I think that's really convenient because, like, uh, the gas, the the fuel here in Florida was. Uh, Florida, Florida, I mean, Florida, you're in the California, wrong state. In California, <laughs> was, uh, it's high. It so. is super expensive fuel here right now. When we stop somewhere, I'll show. But we saw some places that was like seven dollars a gallon or yeah, whatever, $7. right? Seven dollars a gallon. I tell you what, we had a pretty good day that we landed in the afternoon in California mm -hmm. and we've already explored quite a bit yes quite a bit yeah, and just bit. uh and here we're at 8 30 in the morning right now and we've already uh, continue to move on we're heading up to Santa Barbara and we're gonna continue up this coastline I'm gonna go as far as I can and and know how much time we'll have to get back down into LA and uh, and be able to get this car turned in yeah, to the airport you have a car, that's because you have more freedom to go everywhere I have no regrets in booking our flight like this that we didn't just instantly jump on a plane and fly straight to Dallas I mean when you're already this far somewhere enjoy it while you're here you're already at this destination we've we've done that before like in Hong Kong and stuff too you know we would not just instant book another flight like straight on in the Philippines. We'd do a stopover and enjoy somewhere. Um, I wanted Mel to get a visa for Japan and we would book one of our trips back to the Philippines uh, going through Japan if we can get her a visa set up in advance and um, us spend, you know, four or five days or something there in Japan and I would really like Melinda to experience Japan it's a beautiful place a week would be wonderful for her to ride on those bullet trains and all that would be wonderful I want my wife to see those things the high tech yeah <laughs> yeah it's a it's a beautiful world out there It's all hollow underneath down there.
such a great little find right here. Loving driving this coastal road. What's used to renting a four before if you don't take advantage of it? Man, what a drop off on this side. Ooh, man. There's a sheer rock wall there. Well, we just pulled over and uh, got a mountain biker here. He's uh, cranking it too. Uh, it is a pure drop off today. Left that is so cool the way that tree is growing right off the drop off there. This is so cool how this big old tree is growing right outside this cliff. Man, that is crazy. Yeah, this is beautiful. Here we go. We can pull over right here and you can get out and out. Look, there's there's like a cave or something right up on the side of that mountain. You see that opening? Like a mine or a cave? Man, we're exploring you see that one there? back trail roads in California. Is one yeah, sure is. Is that like an old railroad? I bet that is. I bet yeah. that's that old railroad passing up through there. Man, this is so cool. So awesome, man. This is kind of exploring. I love to get out and do it. <laughs> One wrong turn, huh? Man, this is sweet. This is kind of terrain I love. So this is old stagecoach road right through here. And oh I see it has another road splits off. That's the one probably going up towards those tunnels. So uh Mel look and it's gonna come back out with a big old loop back onto the the main road that we want to be on. So we're gonna follow this on through then and then we're gonna head back to where we can fuel up this vehicle. And that's gonna be expensive. <laughs> Yeah, tunnels are way up there high. You can see other stuff way up there too. This reminds us of us being in our uh, full runner back in the Philippines when we would go take it and explore, hit a road, find a trail. Beautiful. This is beautiful. But we're going downhill because this vehicle is steadily coasting. I'm having to ride the brake. It's really heading down fast. Keep, we keep getting off all the highways, which Melinda keeps wanting me to stay up on those highways. Keep telling her we need to find these little off roads like this. So we're in, this is called San Luis Bay, I believe is what it's called. 
And uh, it's got some interesting history all the way back to the 1500s here. It's pretty cool. And uh, this is another little road we've taken that kind of dead ends up in here. The road, road ended right here in this parking lot. But there's another road that winds up through there that goes back in towards a lot house. And it's a smaller road. And then I was looking at maybe taking some mountain pass roads, like a trail that I curve around. And I can see up here on the side of the, the mountain up here that there is a trail falling around right by that power line, which is, uh, I mean, it would be an off road. It'd be a dirt road, which I'm fine with taking. I like that. But um, we're, we're gonna look and see it's getting in the afternoon now. We need to be back in LA if we're gonna go down there. We got friends that are wanting to meet us for lunch. So that means if we stay somewhere overnight up this way, we could drive back down to LA in the morning and we could um, meet them for lunch. Steve and Sheila are friends from Iloilo as well that they flew in just three days ahead of us and I think that would be pretty cool to meet with them I really like Steve a lot It'd be cool to hang out with Steve and Sheila so it's your first time to see anything like that wild out in nature instead of in a zoo huh yeah what do you think about it? Mel, can you please translate to me what they're saying? Because your mouth and their mouth are said, the same. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what you said, James? <laughs> That's one male there with how many females? That's what I'm talking about. But you hear he don't have no peace. He thought, oh, it's so cool, I got all these females, but man, never a moment's peace. There's not, there's not a big one there. Harbor boat man it's a nice boat I really like that boat very cool very very cool well we're at another bay now now we're what's this one Mel Moro Moro Bay no it's not Manila <laughs> Bay Moro Bay right huh Moro it's one more obey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now I'm gonna tell y'all. Right around this point, right over here, it is a beautiful scene of a beautiful outlook of a huge, like, rock that sticks out in the water. Man, it's gorgeous. There's a, looks like an overlook right up there. This is all so beautiful here. Moro Bay. And it goes where to Cambria, right Mel? Yes. Um, yeah, to Cambria, I believe is what it's called. And so all along here is supposed to be like this famous Hearst Castle and the elephant seals. Yeah, like 30 more miles.